Dear Maggie, I dreamt of you last night. You wore your blue boots as you hiked. I hate not being with you. I dreamt of the day we met, back in a time that if I knew what I know now, if I had seen the horrors I've witnessed, I don't think I would have been able to live on. The first night in Antwerp, we were welcomed by several V1 and V2 bombings. I spent most of the night under the bed, terrified. This all-American boy learned how to be afraid rather quickly. Good morning, girl. Keep it warm. Welcome everyone to yet another semester. I'm Professor Wright and this is Advanced Classical Literature. Before we get started on the class protocol and the required text, let's have a little fun. Take out your copies of The Odyssey. I want to read one of my favorite excerpts, which can be found on page 255. Stretched on the ground, close to where they'd stood talking, there lay a dog now pricked up his ears and raised his head. Argus was his name. Hey, James. Hey, Tim. How's it going? Can't complain. Biology went well. What are you in for? I just had English. Should be interesting. James, is everything all right? You know, the whole... I'm fine. So, this semester and we'll finally be done with college. <laughs> Pretty surreal, right? Sure is. I'm gonna miss this place dearly. <laughs> Interested in Maggie, are we? <laughs> no. No, no, I'm, I'm not. I... Come on, I'll introduce you. No, that's... No, it's Tim. fine. Come no. on. Stop. You'll be all right. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Left, Stop. right. Stop. Hey, Maggie. Don't. Come on. Hey, Tim. How was your break? Oh, good. You know, nice to breathe for once, you. Mostly work, as usual. Uh, well, I wanted to introduce you to my friend James Roman. Pleased to meet you. Well, it looks like uh, my work is done here, so... Uh, you kids have fun. I'm gonna go lock Mrs. Keegan in her classroom. She doesn't realize it locks from the inside. <laughs> so, you're also an English major? Me? Um, no. I'm studying biology. I just take English classes for fun. Why do that? I just really enjoy reading. I had Professor Wright last semester, too. Oh, he's great, isn't he? One of my favorites. You look familiar, James Roman. 
I do. You do. I can't figure out where... Oh! You were in the paper a few months ago. I'm surprised you saw that. Are you kidding? Everybody read that. It was brilliant. So, <laughs> I'm sure you didn't come here to talk about classes. Well, uh, would you want to go to the movies sometime? There are some science fiction flicks playing. Could be fun. I'd like that. Favorite music would have to be Swing. Really? Oh yeah. The, the big bands, the clarinets. It's incredible. So, tell me about the great James Roman. Great. You must have heard it somewhere. People have been calling you that since you saved that kid from drowning last year. I haven't. And they shouldn't. I was just trying to help. You saved his life. I live on a farm. I help the animals all the time. It really wasn't that different. I've always wanted to see a farm. I'm from the city, and we don't get out too often. Would you like to see our horses? So this is it. It's not much, but it's been in my family for ages. I think it's beautiful. Wow. That's Lily. It's okay, you could pet her. She's beautiful. She is. Tough test. This is ridiculous. There is no way anyone is going to pass this thing. It's not like it matters anyway. We're just going to get drafted. Thanks. That's exactly what I needed to hear. That's what happens in wartime, James. Drafts happen. I tell you, though, I'd love to be on the front lines. You don't mean that. I don't. <clears throat> I just, I can't stand the schoolwork. I mean, do I look like a lawyer? No. But do what the old man wants, right? <clears throat> so, it's been almost two weeks. You haven't said anything. How's things with Maggie? She's really nice. We, uh, we've been out a few times. We're actually getting lunch tomorrow. You didn't take her to one of your science fiction films, did you? <laughs> hey, it worked. She loved it. I think things are really working out well. I had no idea that the French could cook. I'm surprised you haven't had escargot before. <laughs> it was actually very good. I'm, I'm sorry that this place is such a mess. Do you want a drink? Sea glass? My mom found those. Whenever we used to go on vacations, she would collect them for hours on the beach while my dad, my brother Ben and I would swim. My mom found this piece. She was ecstatic for days. Spirit Lake isn't the most common place to find sea glass, but I guess that's what made it all the more special. Actually, why don't I show you? I 
I think the real reason we used to come out here was because of my dad. He would tell us that the ghosts of old soldiers would come out here and watch the sunset. I remember when Ben and I used to swim out as far as we could. We pretend that the other side was a doorway to a lifetime of adventure. I guess it was a way for us to get away from our simple lives. Then we got what we wanted. I don't talk about this much, but a couple of years ago, my sister got sick. She was hospitalized. After she died, I ran away from home. I haven't been back to see my parents yet. I'm sorry. My mom always used to say, life is like a party. Some leave early and some stay late. But for us, there's not a doorway in sight. Although it is quite peaceful here. So what memories do you have associated with this place? Nothing. I just like it. Did you hear that? Oh my Jesus. Forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven. Especially those who have Tim. most need of your mercy. I still don't understand why he never said goodbye. Perhaps he was too ashamed of how he really felt. But I still feel a piece missing when I remember him. Leaving was the hardest. Being bombarded with the inevitable possibility of no return haunts me every night. Hi, Lily. Good morning. Do you want to go for a ride today?
I miss you every day, Maggie. Your smile is always with me. And in each step I take, I realize that we can never be separated. My heart will always be yours. As ever, James. Thank you.